Hey there, YouTube. This is Jimmy with To The Top Crane. No, uh, no, I'm not sitting in a crane right now. Um, I wanted to make a quick video, show you guys inside of me. You don't uh, typically get to see. There's a couple of reasons for that. One is I'm pretty well petrified of cameras. The only way to get past that, I guess, is get in front of a camera. So uh, that's part of this video. The other part is. Uh, you know, I'm on, I think I've got 39 videos uploaded now. I'm going to throw this one up. This will be number 40. figured it would be kind of appropriate. Uh, I just want to take the time to thank a few people. I know I'm not going to get everybody in, and for that I apologize. Um, it, it would be a two-day long video to try to get everybody in there. But, uh, yeah, I'm just going to jump straight into this. So, first and uh, foremost, I've got to thank my wife and kids. Um, they've been pretty patient with me as far as spending time editing videos, being on live feeds on a few channels until 1.30 in the morning, um, actually buying some equipment. So yeah, I've got I've to thank my wife and kids for their patience and letting me get this started. Uh, I know my very first video, it took me about five hours or so to edit that thing. Now I think I've got it down to where I can knock a video out and you know, hour, hour and a half, sometimes two hours. It just depends on how many pieces of footage I got to stitch together. But, um, next one I want to show some recognition to Randy with G4 Outdoors. This channel wouldn't exist if it wasn't for Randy. Um, he's a longtime friend of mine. We've known each other for shoot better than 25 years. And he had just prodded me, told me, he said, hey, you've got to get a camera in there and start recording some of uh, what you do for a living and get it on YouTube. Um, he told me my channel would blow up, and I was pretty skeptical. Um, I've been at this now since about February. I think, uh, I think I've turned 450 subscribers now. But uh, anyway, if you haven't checked out G4 Outdoors, I encourage you go go give Randy a watch. Um, check out some of his content. Another one is uh, Andy with Cut and Clean TV. Andy and Randy are partnered up on uh, G4, but Andy's got his own channel called Cut and Clean TV. Uh, he's a funny guy. He's also a rapper, which there's probably not a lot of people that know that. Everybody does now. Um, and he's a lawn care channel, he's a lawn care guy. But he's pretty smart. He's been doing this YouTube, YouTube thing for a little while. And uh, he's he's really helped me out as far as uh, giving me ideas and ways to get going and how to, how to start growing my channel. Um, so go check out Andy with Cut and Clean TV. If nothing else, you'll uh, learn how to take care of your lawn. I mean, he cuts grass with some style. It's pretty hard to uh, turn away from that. Um, another one is uh, Jimmy with Jimmy's tractor. Now, Jimmy found me, I think we were commenting on uh, the same video, and uh, I commented, and then he piggybacked on me with a comment, and we went back and forth a few times, and then uh, he got curious, I guess, and came over and started watching some of my stuff. And we kind of found each other and just started messaging back and forth. And uh, Jimmy's channel, it's either his channel or his wife's channel, has got a video with four or five million views. Um, but Jimmy is sharp as a tack when it comes to the analytics on YouTube. He's been studying it for years, and uh, he's helped me a lot with tagging and uh, like uh, video description names, whatnot, and uh, just trying to drive more views and uh, get YouTube to recognize and rank my, my videos. So uh, Jimmy with Jimmy's Tractor, he's really helped me out. His, his channel, he's kind of on again, off again. Um, he's in the middle of building the house or working on getting one started. I know he's pretty busy. Uh, I think he needs to probably get after it and start making some more YouTube videos. His channel could probably uh, 
do very well. He does a lot of machining and whatnot as well. And then uh, this this last one I got on my list is for well I guess it's not my last one but old Logger Wade. Logger Wade is the real deal. Um, I've been watching him for a little while and then as I got more comfortable with YouTube I started commenting on some of his stuff and I've been commenting on his and uh, Let's Dig 18 and uh, Logger Wade evidently got curious because he came over and started checking my stuff out and then uh, we I think I sent him a message on Facebook or something and started chatting back and forth ended up uh, texting I just actually just got the phone with him a little bit ago um, first time I talked to him on the phone but Logger Wade is he is the real deal I offered to make him a camera mount a simple magnetic camera mount I make my own magnet mounts for my cameras and uh, just from that offer without even sending him anything just with that offer and just over text conversing back and forth with text um, he took it upon himself to give me a shout out on his video since he's done that my channel's kind of blown up and I, I think I had 342 subscribers yesterday before he made that video I think I'm at 450 now and it, and it's all one thing I figured out on this YouTube it's all a matter of just getting your name out there it's not uh, I mean YouTube will eventually start ranking you and whatnot but until you get your name out there you're kind of just treading water and uh, Logger Wade really kind of catapulted me out there in the forefront last night and uh, I, I'm very appreciative of that I, I actually, I mean, I appreciate everybody that's subscribing and viewing my content and commenting and, and uh, you know, sharing videos. And I, I try to comment back on every video that I can, there, or try to comment back on every comment that I get. And, uh, yeah, that, it, it means a lot to me to have you guys follow my stuff. I, I had no idea that so many people would be interested in what I do for a living, and it, it's really humbling that uh, you guys are that engaged. But along with that, um, one of the very first people to ever comment on my video, and I think it was on my very first video, but one of the very first people I had never met, the only way I know him now is just through YouTube comments, is Jeff Pratt. So I gotta give Jeff Pratt some, some recognition. He's been there since day one. He watches all of my stuff from beginning to end. Um, binge watches. I think he goes back and rewatches. I, I, I don't know how much of my content Jeff Pratt has watched, but he's very engaged. He asks very engaging questions on comments, and uh, I think he was truly one of my very first real YouTube subscribers. Um, and along with the comments part of it, I had a subscriber bring to my attention that. Uh, once I hit a million subscribers, it'd be really hard for me to comment on all the comments that I get. Um, his name's Duncan McKenzie, and he actually kind of grilled me. He told me, um, he said, you know, once you get to a million subs, you'll never be able to keep up with all of it. And I said, well, for one, I don't think I'll ever get to a million subs. And two, I kind of felt that it's my duty to... Uh, try to comment back because if you guys are going out of your way or spending time of your this time out of your day to watch my content it uh, it's kind of up it, you know it's a respect thing it for you guys to do that it's respectful of me to comment back evidently my dog saw a squirrel I apologize about that but Duncan McKenzie was right and I'm really gonna try to get to everybody and I, I know there's going to be times that I let some comments slip through the cracks, and for that I apologize. But um, with only 450 subscribers, it's already gotten to where it's kind of difficult for me to keep up with it. So I can imagine what it's going to be like when it when we get a little deeper into it. Um, also, uh, another subscriber that I've got that, that was really tuned in, and he's got a... He's got a really neat channel if you guys are into uh, show trucks, um, even semi-racing, like drag racing. Um, 
and I hope I do this justice, justice, Scotty, but it's S.P. Scotty, E-S-P-E-E-S-C-O-T-T-Y. He's got the kind of channel that uh, you want to binge watch on a rainy day if you're into trucks. I mean, he, I don't know where he's getting all this footage. It's uh, There's got to be million dollar trucks rolling by his camera. And, I mean, if, if you want brand new trucks that have so much chrome on them that turtle wax couldn't keep them clean, um, I don't think turtle wax makes enough product for some of those trucks. And then uh, he's got, you know, if you like the old two-stroke Detroit 1947 Peterbilt that's on his channel so uh, I would check I would check him out if you're into the whole show truck truck racing thing and then uh, last I had a I've had a new subscriber just say ask me hey can you give me a shout out and sure you know I, you subscribe to my channel you're watching my content I'll, I'll give you a, a mention I looked at his channel, he's got no content, but he wants me to say hi to him, so uh, I hope I don't botch this up, but uh, Garnold Coffee actually just commented a few hours ago, hey, can you uh, give me a shout out? So Garnold, there you go, my friend. Um, like I said earlier, I, I know I left some people out, and for that I apologize, uh, but yeah. I wanted everybody to know just how humbled I am by your attention in my content and uh, how much it just blows me away. And I, I wanted to say thanks to everybody. You know, I know I'm a pretty small channel. I'm at 450. Um, but it, it still blows me away. So thank you to everybody. Please, by all means, feel free to share my content. If you're just watching this for the first time and you're not a subscriber, I would greatly appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. Um, and after this video, we'll go back to uh, your regular scheduled programming of crane videos. So I'll try to get another one up in a day or so. And uh, I'll keep making content as long as you guys keep watching it. Or as long as I can keep getting away with it. So hope everybody has a wonderful evening to the top crane is out.